Well, guys, we have come through. I praise the Lord for bringing us through safely. Uh, there's a lot of damage, but our home is fine for the most part. Uh, we had a little bit of flooding with the water being blown through the doors. Um, minor, minor, just in the laundry room and stuff. Uh, but uh, Honey House looks to be in one piece. Barn, the trucks, the vehicles. Of course, we're safe. That's, you know, we're just grateful for that. I praise the Lord. You know, uh, I'm going to go walk around and show you what we're looking at. I've already walked around. I tried to get out last night after it passed, but I went in and went to bed. <clears throat> we had no power starting at 2 p.m. And uh, around 11 o'clock, it got really, really bad. We had sustained winds of uh, 55 to 65 miles an hour for three to four hours straight. It was just a constant roar. And then when the gusts would hit, they were clocking those at 105, 100, 95, just uh, up the road here. Um, and it was ugly. It was it was ugly. Things would come flying down. You could hear trees breaking. You could hear stuff hitting the roof. You didn't know what was going on. I looked out with a flashlight at one point, and it was just blowing so hard I could see just a piece of my top bar hive on the ground crushed under a tree. I was like, well, I really had no hope for my bee yard at that point. The winds were just incredible. Incredible. And uh, but look, it's okay. It's okay. God brought us through. I'm a firm believer. My Savior is Lord Jesus Christ. I don't sweat it. No matter what would have happened, we're going to be okay. And even if the worst, you know, I'm going to be okay. Uh, to live is Christ, to die is gain. Is what the Scripture tells me. And uh, you know, I believe in my heart, regardless of who agrees, disagrees, what have you, God is in control. And uh, He was in control last night, and He decided we were going to need to come on through with no damage to our home. Uh, we live in a fallen world. He never promised us a tip throw, tiptoe through the tulips. Um, he said, we're going to be here in the world with everybody else, uh, those that want to believe and those that don't want to believe, those that choose. He gives us a choice. And uh, he said, we're going to be in this world together. And so living in a fallen world, you know, it says it rains upon the just and the unjust. Uh, uh, a tornado comes through, a hurricane comes through, and people want to say, well, this was that, and this was the wrath of God, or what have you. Well, it to me, it's like we all live in a fallen world. We all go through the same things. It's how we deal with them, where our hope is at when we deal with them, and how we come through them uh, with our church family and with our brothers and sisters in Christ. So I am grateful. I am so grateful. You're going to see... Of what happened out here but you know what in the end our home appears to be fine I haven't looked at all the shingles yet but uh, uh, you know we're good and we're, we're safe and it is bumpy it is this is very reminiscent of Katrina at this point uh, and in and Katrina was like 16 years ago to the day I believe it was very reminiscent of that to where it's just widespread and it was so strong and when the power goes out, of course, we, we, I went and got my generator this morning. I didn't want to leave it out in case a tree hit it. I don't need that to be destroyed. I brought it in. Uh, we can run the pump to get water. We can run our water heater. We can run anything but the stove, air conditioning, heater. So all the fans are going. We've got lights when we need them. Uh, we got about two to three days worth of fuel to get us through. But it's, the power's going to be out a lot longer than that. Uh, a lot longer. We're going to be out. We're going to. This is reminiscent of Katrina. I did. I was in Pearl River. Did. Uh, Two weeks plus out there with no power whatsoever uh, and I was one of the fortunate ones I got power quick uh, it very much reminds me of this we have no cell service uh, the towers are down now the line is down for the internet so there's no internet via the power that we have in the house we're on old-school radio listening to the local station and they're still broadcasting constant updates from the parish president and from uh, the governor and everybody else so uh, it's very reminiscent of Katrina. Our road is blocked. The roads out here are all blocked. Nobody can get in and get out. You have no communications. And if you have no generator, you have no power whatsoever. So it's very reminiscent of Katrina. I think in Katrina, a lot of people learned have generators, have fuel prior to this. Um, certain things we did learn to do and how to, how to uh, get by that helped us through the storms afterwards. But uh, you're still, you're, you're off the grid again. And it's just like... Uh, it's like the days of uh, Katrina. Um, emergency vehicles can't get through, and there's, there's you know, it, it's it's a serious situation when it gets like this. So 
I think everybody learned have fuel, have your generators, be prepared for this kind of stuff. Know that you're going to lose communications. Uh, Verizon's transmitting, AT&T's not. So, I you know, see these guys got their skid steer, I think, back there. I know they're in a golf cart, but uh, I can plainly see them now. <laughs> so, I'm going to take you around and show you what I found. Uh, again, very, very reminiscent of Katrina. This really is... Uh, you can't get out, you can't go anywhere, you're stuck. And there's no power and no communications. Uh, you gotta hope in the next few days. I do think that's another thing that Katrina taught everybody. Get the gas stations up running really fast. Get the fuel coming in from the other places. Cause you gotta remember when these hurricanes come in from the Gulf, one of the major supplies of fuel for the entire nation is down. And uh, it's down there, of course, here we are stop and work on pipelines but hey that's I digress uh, hummingbirds they're looking for their house I've, I've seen several of them now they're looking around they've got no home uh, but we've learned to get the fuel here from wherever we can get it I'm sure it'll come out of Texas now and they get the gas stations up and going most of those places now have backup generators so hopefully we'll have fuel soon enough where we don't run our generator out and we'll be able to keep power at least AC is an issue but you know you just you pick up, you put your head down, and you go. And you do what you gotta do. I don't know if I took it out of the other video or not on the prep, but anybody that's been around one of these or been through these in the Gulf, you know how bad the cleanup is. Just a simple debris that these things blow. And let me tell you, that wind was rocking. When those gusts would hit, this entire house would shake. It was, it was amazing. Uh, scary at times, you know, but uh, it's just one of them things but let's go take a look and let me show you since you guys are around my yard a lot uh, and get to see around my yard and I'll probably take you up the road and show you this entire pole snapped off of the transformer down we're gonna be without power a long time let's go take a look hey but my pond is full <laughs> I think we're sitting at 15 inches of rain it's just still misting uh, but it'll come a downpour a couple bands are still flying around uh, and I got a borrowed drone that uh, I, I, I might put up in the air and take an overhead of all this, but let's let's walk around and see what we got. I think the rain is just a mist right now. We'll see. All right, so here's the back porch. You see the see that limb there and that limb? They come from the front yard. So it came over the house. My owl tried to fly away. He couldn't do it. The poor hummingbird is there looking for the feeder that's gone. I already hear chainsaws going in the back. Oh, that's that's the fell in the back. We had a tree go down behind the hive that literally went across this driveway. The greenhouse stood. Imagine that. Honey house is untouched. The house, although I've seen a few shingles, I'm looking. The other side is the bad side because it's uh it's got uh, that's where the wind was coming from the wind literally was whipping from that direction and I mean when I say it was coming it was hard it would hit the windows and I I, I was wondering where we we're gonna keep our windows but uh, you know I mean we got a big water these water oaks these oaks I told y'all when the ground gets saturated and the wind hits they go bees are flying who said bees don't fly in the rain look at that they glued their lid on I didn't even have a brick on that one Nuke is still standing back there. Broke my pear tree in half, and this big water oak went down. Crossed my fence. Look at this T post. Let's see if those girls are flying. Yeah, they're flying. Check this out. Which my dog's passed away anyway, so I don't. I'm not worried too much about this fence anymore. Busted this T post right off. Big old tree. So much cleanup, guys. You ain't even seen the front yard. But praise the Lord, nothing hit the house. Nothing hit the honey house. You know, I mean, even if that happened, at least it didn't hit our home. Uh, nothing hit the barn. The shelter for the RV trailer's still there. I mean, I'm grateful. I'm so grateful. Now this live oak limb, it was the first one. It went down early when we just had. Oh, we just had like 30 mile an hour wind. That thing snapped off. I'm like, oh boy, here we go. 
so I had a big leaning tree. I know y'all noticed them in the videos. That leaning pine tree. Well, this big one snapped off, and then the leaner went down, and then it knocked that one up there down. So that's three major trees. Don't mind the generator noise. This big old pine went down. Now here's where my top bar got crushed. Generator got our house going. Tore my weather head off when it hit the service power. Ripped that off, so you have to have a contractor to fix that before the power company will even hook you back up. But they gotta get all the lines going before anything can be hooked up anyway. So I wanna show you this thing. Now, there's a colony of bees that was in this tree in the bottom, and I see them flying. That's stay away. They're not going to be happy. It looks like they can get to it from here. They're trying to find their... There's a hole in there. Yeah, they can get to their comb from there, but they're trying to get back in there. But that's a colony of bees. That one's leaning pretty good. Look at this one. My top bar hive is under there somewhere. Look. Look at this thing. That's some of my better grass. And I used to, well, my spider warts are still there. Yeah, Jill's right. That, uh, yeah, that tree there is leaning. That's not good. That's going to have to come out. So, we're going to get all these cut out, and then that pine is going to have to come out. It's leaning toward the house now. There's the top bar in that tree somewhere. Look at all the bees. They're looking. They're trying to find it. So, uh, no tap root. Let go. What a real big one. That's gone. Yeah, this tree's gonna have to come down. Oh yeah, yeah, it's bulging out right here. But we can't have that. There's a bulge in there. Oh, it's raining again. So, of course, our power's out, obviously. Uh, you guys see where uh, that big water oak right there snapped over and fell into my driveway. This pine snapped off up top, it was rotten. It came down, took some limbs out of the water oaks, destroyed my lower pedalums. I can still drive my tractor through though. You see my driveway is completely blocked with a giant water oak. That's gonna have to be cut out. The first things we'll be doing is cutting the road out. I didn't even show you our road. Our road is covered, there's transformers busted. It's, it's pretty bad. But it looks like we have Next to no shingle damage that I can tell. And I'll get up on the roof and actually check once the weather clears. Uh, that that crepe myrtle, man. Ooh, it was going over. You could feel it hitting the house. Yeah, that tree is leaning pretty bad now. That was a straight tree. So that's going to have to come down. So we'll, we're going to have, there's a few grand going to be spent on. Uh, some of this cleanup I can't do. It's too much for me. And we're going to have some trees taken out there because that's now compromised. This live oak, this live oak was bending all the way back to around the side of the house as winds would come. It would bend, these limbs here were all the way at the back eave. It, that wind was whipping. I mean, it was getting it. She's got a pine on her house. This is some mess back here. But I think it buckled it a little bit, but I, I don't think the roof is compromised. The old roof, these silver maples don't belong this far south. They've been dying and breaking every storm. That limb is broke out about to fall. That one's got to be cut out. It went out in the field. Broke. This is a mess here. Uh, you know, I cut her grass for her. Try to take care of it for her. Uh, this is beyond my scope. Let me wipe the lens. Definitely beyond my scope. Uh, that's that's a silver maple. It did all right, but I don't. Oh gosh, yeah, no. Her roof is compromised, but only the corner. You see the soffit bent down. 
and I can see the limb going through so that's not good now I want to show you I guess these bees over here uh, what happened there that's all beat up I haven't been behind her house yet Hopefully her son's going to help her get taken care of here. That water, water oaks are the worst, guys. They really are. You got them around, get them out. In the south. You got them around your house, get them out. These bees made it. You got a tree on one. But every lid is on. Every stand is upright. Propolis. Look at that. Yeah, I'm going to have to hand off the work in her yard. Maybe our men's group of church can come over. I don't know. There's going to be so many people needing work right now. I don't even know when we'll get our power, our uh, weather head back on, on the house, the meter box. Electricians are going to be so hard to get a hold of. Uh, these are kind of weak. But these, aren't. these are strong over here, but they're not out. That's not compromised. I checked it. It's actually loose. See, it's loose on there. Didn't break it loose. Uh, needless to say, right now, OA is put off. Uh, we got bigger priorities, unfortunately. Yeah. Everybody's starting to fly. They weren't flying this morning. So, look, that one didn't have a brick or anything on it. Not that those bricks are going to hold anything in 100 mile an hour gusts, but the wind was coming straight at them. I ain't kidding you. It was wind like, whew. And uh, those lids stayed on. Again, my I keep my colonies low profile. They're not way up on stands. These especially are on pallets. So that helped. But yeah, it looks like OA is, OA is off for now. I kind of figured that. I was wanted to really get another dose in. That's why I rushed to do it prior to this storm. Uh, give them the best chance they got because at this point the bees are pretty much on their own. I don't know obviously how the one in town did, but it's all staked down. I would think if these came through, hopefully that and did, provided a tree didn't come down. So here's where we would come through to work them. And I'm going to take you around to the back. Let me get through here and I'm going to take you around to the back. Alright guys, let's take a look at the back. Uh, of course, you've seen the, these pines right here. They're down. Of course, all that's a mess. That's a mess. I did cut the grass before this happened. This was, oh, I think I cut it out of the video, but all this debris to mulch. Nothing worse than having tall grass trying to do it too. All right, so the pond is full now. It fills up with good rains. Tropical storms usually fill it to the brim and hurricanes with over, well, it's at least over 14. I think we're at 15 inches now. Uh, they tend to really uh, overflow it. Lost some pines. It didn't hurt my orange trees. That big water oak missing with the top out of the other one sure does make it look different. But uh, yeah, that one's down. Uh, wax myrtles went down, the live oak went down. I didn't want that live oak down, but it's down now, so done deal. Uh, the truck, look, those boxes stayed put. I'm charging, I'm, I'm running my freezer right now because the comb is starting to thaw out. That'd be a nasty mess, huh? This thing made it. This thing made it. This thing made it. This lean-to made it. I built this. I'm surprised it made it. The wind was coming this away in this state. This thing's sputtering a little bit. Huh. Don't be sputtering on me. Anyway, the truck is out here in the middle. I put it out here in the middle for a reason. And look. One limb in the back. It blew my mirror apart. Tell me that wasn't some wind. Yeah. Yeah, we'll figure it out later. Duct tape. 
Now I want you to look at the hives back here. They're all standing and not a tree came down on them. And I want to show you a major tree. These big oaks on the tree line, where we were fortunate was they all went that way. Because uh, the wind came from behind us. And pardon I me, mean, when I tell you it was some strong wind, I don't think I can overemphasize that. This is so reminiscent of Katrina in Pearl River and what happened and how we're blocked in, our road is blocked in, the highways are blocked right now. It's nothing, no communication whatsoever, so gotta have a week's worth of food and, and supplies. Unfortunately, I don't think we had enough gas for the generator, but if we run out of power, we'll figure that out too. That's a dead rat. No, it's a stick. That's a big tree that went down across the road. There's a driveway back there. It goes back to a house. So that's across the road. And he had a fence right there. It took that out, it appears. And look around. Look at them hives. Look at them, huh? Look at the bush hogs, man. Yeah, that's a big tree across the road. That's a giant water oak. You know, they don't look that big laying there until you go to cutting on them. This is debris, this is nothing. This is nothing. I'm grateful. I'm grateful, I'm grateful. This is nothing. This is the easy money in the big picture. Bees are flying. See all that robin? It stopped. But stay together. I didn't tie them down. I don't tie them down. I have never tied them down for major storms. This was the majorest too. This, these, these colonies took wind straight on. They're facing exactly southeast, and that's where the wind came from. The gusts were coming from there, and they stood. They stood. Now that's tipped over. I put that over yesterday as preparation so it wouldn't blow over and break it. So that's over for a reason. All right, Mr. Tom's back here cutting. They stayed. Let me go talk to him. All right, so look, so all the colonies are in one piece. Everybody's together. Look, Mr. Wheeler getting after it. Is that Eddie? Somebody's getting after it. Might be Eddie. Uh, yeah, everybody stood, stood upright. Okay, so there you go. What will bees do during a hurricane? I mean, if the stands are low profile like this, that's what I was counting on. I got lids glued shut. I've never done anything in the storms for them. And now this was the strongest one. Actually, last night I really had no hope for them. I thought, you know, I've never done anything for them, but this by far is the strongest. And I was concerned. But once again, the Lord provides, and they stood straight up. Now, I haven't seen... The ones way up north, I won't be able to get to those for a day or two. The roads are completely blocked. That's a big tree he's cutting. Whole root ball went over. Got some limbs back here. Missed, missed the hive. So. It cleaned the underbrush out. Look where it just blew the underbrush underneath. This was all grown up. It blew it completely down. So, but yeah, the hives being low profile, I think that helped. Propolis being on them. Hadn't been breaking them open every single week. So, uh, I think, you know, that saved us. Uh, I think that really uh, helped out a lot. And now it's clean up. Now it's time for cleanup. I'm gonna go find my new chain on my chainsaw and uh, we're gonna clean out the driveway at a minimum. I do want to be able to get out of here in the next day or so. But uh, there you go, folks. That's where we stand. I'm, I'm, I'm super pleased that all the hives made it through. Unfortunately, they're not gonna get any more treatments at this point. 
Well, that one got active. The one on the right is full of beetles. I'm really sweating that one, but I, I can't, I can't worry with trying to get them worked right now. We've got to get our driveway opened up and our road opened up. So that's it from here. We made it through. Ate it through. I'm not sure what they're going to do. Oh, it's a mess. Yeah, when I saw that top bar crushed, I was like, uh, I just, I, I was not looking forward to what I was going to face this morning thinking about those winds. I mean, it was a tree, obviously. It wasn't the wind that did it. Well, the wind did the tree, but... Oh, and here, let me show you this. My open-air hive didn't make it, which I don't expect them to. I found this in the yard. I looked at them yesterday, before the storm, and there weren't a ton of bees on it, but it was about half populated, and now look at it. There's some dead bees. That wind, they could not endure that wind uh, as I look up into the tree which you won't be able to see I see some wax still up there but I doubt there's any bees up there I forgot to tell you about that I did see that this morning uh, you may can see it I'm gonna try to point to it it's right up there but I don't see any bees left on it it's broken off That is what it is, guys. We're gonna move on. There you go. Well, there you go, the aftermath. That's it. I'm gonna try and get some drone footage. So I'm gonna try, if the, when the rain calms down, the wind has calmed down pretty good, but when the rain calms down, another couple of hours I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and get it get a borrowed drone Joey Rawls had loaned me the drone tried to bring it back to him he said keep it keep playing with it <laughs> it's not mine and uh, I'm gonna take a look from overhead still a little too wet though I don't want to damage it. it's not mine to damage so I don't want to damage it but uh, what a mess guys that greenhouse made it. Can you imagine that? The greenhouse. <laughs> but it was shielded from the wind. The early part of the storm, the wind was literally coming out of the north. And that was where the storm was so far over there, it was wrapping around. And by the time it get, got to us, it was shooting the wind back down to the western end of the storm. Because it moved up. So as it was down south, the wind was going like this. And we were in the northern part. So it was blowing right on the greenhouse. It was blowing right on my hunting house. But then as it shifted like it should have, like it, as it came up and went further west, we started getting the brunt. And then it came 15, 20 miles west of here is where it came through as a category two. It was supposed to de-intensify. Okay, it was supposed to rapidly weaken. And it didn't. It stayed a three all the way up to Lake Marpaw. It hit category two just south of there and stayed a cat two going a little bit north of here and it was uh and it it wobbled back to the east a couple times which put its track even closer so it went over the little town of livingston and uh hadn't heard from my boss yet my supervisor but he lives there he went over his house and they were having here we were getting gusts of over 100 miles an hour about 105 is what was clocked and he was at the eye wall the sustained winds at the Iowa at that point in time are like 130 miles an hour to 120, something like that. So I haven't heard from him. He's got a bunch of live oaks around his house. My poor water oak lost us half of it again. It's just getting pruned by nature. So that's it. We made it though. I'm grateful. I'm happy. I'm, I'm very grateful for all the neighbors. I'm happy everybody did well. But I'm gonna have to find my chain and get to cut the trees so I can get my driveway clear. All right.